In this lesson, we are going to learn about adjustment layers. Adjustment layers are great to control colors and various effects globally. Rather than applying effects on each layer, we will have to apply effects only on the one layer and it will affect all underneath layers. Let me show you. I have created several layers here, including this black solid layer at the very bottom. Let's lock it so that it might not get selected anyway. These all are shape layers. Actually, all shapes have been created by basic circles. We have just used dotted strokes to generate different kinds of shapes. And we have also tried to give them digital look. We will learn how to create these shapes in further lessons. And I have also made them 3D. Topmost layer is actually a null layer and we are using it as a controller of all these shape layers. And don't worry about how we have generated these shapes, how we have created this controller, and how to animate them. These all are covered in detail in this course, step by step. So we have just made a very simple 3D animation. It's only 7 seconds long. But it's looking quite boring, because we are trying to make a digital animation, and it's just black and white. So to give it a feel, we have to apply colors and some glow on these shapes. And we have two ways to do it. First, select shapes one by one and change their color and apply necessary effects on that. But it will be very time consuming. And it's also very difficult to match colors of each shape unless we match colors with the RGB values. So we have a better way to do it with the help of adjustment layers. Let me undo it. Now go to layer, new and create an adjustment layer. So there will not be any background on it. It will be just a blank layer. And after effect, we'll put this symbol in front of it so that we can easily recognize that it's an adjustment layer. Press enter to rename it. And let's call it adjustment layer. Now to colorize our shapes, I am going to use tint effect. So go to effects and presets panel and search for tint effect. Here is it. Now just apply this effect to the adjustment layer and let's change its color. Well, I am going to use bright shade of blue color in order to give it a feel of digital design. Interesting. Now adjustment layer will affect all underneath layers. So all shapes are get colorized. Now let's use glow effect to give some shining. Let's search for it. Just apply effect to the adjustment layer. Now play with these settings to get required result. So there is nice glow on all shapes. Now it's looking interesting. So you can see how easy it is to use adjustment layers and how much effective they are to save our production time. And the great thing about it is that whenever you need to remove effect, you need not to undo a lot of times to change setting on each particular layer. You just need to turn off visibility of the adjustment layer and effects will be hidden. And you can also transform this adjustment layer so that it will only affect certain parts of the underneath layers. You can also do it by using the transformation properties of the layer itself. Just unlink it and use this scale property. Let me undo this. Now let's move this adjustment layer below to the controller layer. You can see nothing will get changed because our controller layer is just a null layer. There is nothing on it, so nothing will get changed. But if we move it below to the other layers, upper layers will not be affected by it. Now it will only affect last three layers. Now if we move it to the upper side, more layers will get changed. So adjustment layer will only affect those layers which are below that. Let's make it some more interesting. So create a solid layer first. Let's call it grid. Keep it to the comp size and choose whatever color you want. Now go to effect, generate and choose grid. And it will create grids something like this. Let's change it to the width slider and increase its width. You will have also many settings here. Just check them to modify the grid effect. Now let's pull this grid below to the all shape layers. And as soon as we put it, its color will be changed due to adjustment layer and glow effect will be applied to it. 
now press t key to open opacity property and let's set its opacity to 25 percent it's looking good but i think i should adjust glow effect a bit more so let's set its threshold value to 18 percent and glow radius to 32 percent all right let's preview this animation And now our animation is looking quite interesting. It's giving a feel of digital design. But I want just one correction. I think grid opacity should be more down. Okay, fine. Let's preview this again. Perfect. Let me show you another feature. We can also convert a layer to an adjustment layer. So let's create a layer solid first. Call it grid adjustment. Let me put it just about to the grid layer. Its color has been changed due to our existing adjustment layer. Now I want it to make an adjustment layer. So here we have a switch for it. Just turn it on and it will convert this solid layer to adjustment layer and there will be no color on it. It will become blank. And this adjustment layer will only affect this grid layer. Now go to Effect, Generate, and apply CC Light Burst Effect. Let's pull its center point to the vertical center of the composition. Now open scale property of this adjustment layer and scale it on X axis. Press Shift P to open position property with the scale property still open. And let's put it aside to see the effect. Now let's play with the effect parameters to make effect some more interesting. Intensity will change its brightness. Radius will change generated ray size. And wrap softness will make ray's edges smooth. Okay, fine. Now go to first frame and add a keyframe on the position parameter. And let's move it outside of the screen along X axis. Since my animation is 7 seconds long, so I'm going to place playhead to the 7 second. Now move this adjustment layer from left to right side. Let's preview it. Play it once again. We have made a very cool digital animation. So adjustment layers give us a great control. Even we can generate custom shapes with it. Let me show you. First I have to create a new composition. Let's call it custom shape. Now create a solid layer of any color you want. I am going to create a circular shape with the help of masking on it. You are very familiar with it and can create any shape instead of the circle. Okay, let's duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D and make it adjustment layer. Now keep layer selected and go to Effect, Transition and apply Vanity Time Blends effect. Now increase Transition Completion and it will generate strips in the shape. Now let's increase strip width and let's increase transition completion a bit more. Fine, now select the layer, hit P key to open position parameter of the adjustment layer and let's move it to the upper side. Just duplicate it, open position property and move it to the downside. So now we have generated a complex shape just by using adjustment layer. Now let's assume we have to animate this whole shape. So in that case, just select all these layers, go to layer menu and choose pre-compose. Let's call it new shape and move all attributes to the new composition. So it has pre-composed all layers and has generated a new composition. Now let's drag a region of interest around it to shrink its area. Go to composition menu and click on crop contour region of interest. 
Now let's open its rotation property by pressing R key and we are able to rotate all shapes in one time. But if you notice, it's not rotating from the center because its center point is not in the center of the object. So let's take pan behind tool and if we move this anchor point holding down control key, it will snap it here because it's not a single shape, it's a composition. And if we press control key to snap it to the center, it will snap anchor point to the composition center as it's doing here. So to snap it to the object center, release control key and do it manually. Now if we rotate it, it will rotate from the center. So you can see adjustment layers are very powerful and we can save a lot of our production time with it.